In this video, I'm going to use Jasper.ai and this timer right here to try and write a blog post that's like 1,000 to 2,000 words in less than 10 minutes. In the video description below, you'll actually find my full review for Jasper.ai. I made a full video about it. You can go learn more there. I'll also have my affiliate link that'll get you 10,000 words for free so you can try out Jasper.ai for yourself. All that stuff's below, yada, yada. Let's get started. Before I hit my timer, the article I'm writing is how to discipline a child with ADHD. And I went and did about five minutes, literally just five minutes of research. I opened up a few things in Google for this query and I wrote down some talking points. I always like to start with this before I do any piece of content. So this is the only prep work I've done. All right, so let's start the timer in three, two, one, let's go. I'm using a recipe called 10 Minute Info Post. Uh, I use this from my own one hour blog post and I also got some inspiration from the Jasper team and some other YouTube creators. And instead of adding my own talking points, I'm actually just going to let Jasper have a crack at it first. I'm gonna do a listicle version, write a list of listicle headline ideas and see what this comes up with. The best 10 tips for disciplining a child with ADHD. All right, that'll work. I'm actually gonna make that my H1 and put it up in here. And again, I'm just gonna let Jasper have a crack at this. Write an outline for the headline above. Understand ADHD symptoms. Create a routine, stick to it, be consistent, don't shout or get angry, explain what was it. Use positive reinforcement. Let's actually delete that one. Let's just do like five. Uh, set limits and boundaries. Sure, why not? I'm actually not gonna do any. Let's just do five. How about that? We'll do this five. Cool, now we have our outline. I'm actually gonna put it above the H1 just for some like additional context to give Jasper. And let's do write a content brief for the outline above. Let's just hit this, write an article. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna put that in my content brief just to give more context and info. Delete, why can't I select you? There we go. Write a blog post intro in the first person. Let's run this one right here. It's not a myth, very uh, creative. I don't know what are they even writing about. Let's uh, try this again. Intro in the first person about the topic above. How about that? Did the dip. What? I'm not Matt. Uh, this is good, but I'm not Matt. Um, let's try this again. In the first person, oh, write a blog post intro about, uh, this is taking some trial and error, isn't it? It's okay. No problem. There we go. There we go, perfect. That's what I wanna talk about. Let's delete this. So let's dive into the tips. Cool. All right, so now I'm just going to copy and paste these different headings up here. Understand ADHD symptom, number one. And there's a few different ways you could do this at this point. I am going to, uh, I usually actually start with this one right here. Write a list of subheaders for that one. And I'm just gonna hit command enter. There we go. And uh, you could make these H3s, but before I even do that, I'm actually just gonna use the paragraph generator right here. Come over here about that one and hit generate AI content and see what it comes up with. And while that happens, I'll probably just end up pasting it down here. All right, for very first person, common symptoms include, that's a good way to start, I suppose. Uh, and what to do? Parents can also help with their, okay. So that's generally pretty good. Might go through here and change a few formatting thing, but there you go. Um, all right, so that one, was, that one was decent. Let's move on. Let's do a different one right here. Create a routine and stick with it. So, and let's make that an H2. Create a routine and stick with it. Let's do with the list of subheads again. I'm not sure why that's like way down there. Let's put that up here. I like the, the way that last one came out. Write a subtopic, so, okay, yeah, yeah. Smash the bedtime in front of the desk that rolls about limit screen time. No, I don't think so. Let's try actually a different version. Uh, ADHD kids can benefit from having a routine. No joke. <laughs> so let's hit compose. A routine will help them. That's not bad. Okay. Let's actually just leave it at that. 
Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's do it a different way. Be consistent with discipline. Let's come down here, three, be consistent with discipline. Do that one. Let's do, let's try this one this time. Dump. Write an intro sentence for blah, 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 blah. If you're about any of the discipline, it could be a daunting task, but the problem understanding the conditions is oh, well, it'll be consistent. Eh, nah, I don't like that. Let's try this again. Um, intro, where is the subtopic thing? Why is that not working? There we go, subtopic. All right, move on. That one, let's just do that. And delete this little curly bracket here. Write a list of subtopics for da 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 da. Um, the importance of consistency, how to be consistent with discipline. Yeah, it's fine. Let's just delete those. I'm actually gonna copy this and put it up here in the paragraph generator. Be consistent with discipline for kids with ADHD. Just to give a little bit more context right here, generate the output and I will put that right down in here. All right, while it's doing that, I'll go ahead and grab this guy. Don't shout or be angry. Let's come down here, do that one for, it's gonna be an H2. All right, discipline is important, yes. However, it's also important to be consistent. The TV, yeah, okay, this is not bad. You need to enforce the rules consistently. Build good habits. I can't type, my fingers are absolutely freezing cold. <laughs> there we go. And again, I'm actually just really digging this one right now. So I'm just gonna try this again. Don't shout or get angry. Let's do a list of subtopics. I'm gonna do it on time, right here. I'm done. Six minutes in, oh man, I'm not gonna make it. Don't threaten or punish. I gotta hurry. Let's just come up, paste that, generate AI output, and I will delete this stuff. Cool, let's do the fifth one. Use positive reinforcements. Did I not do that one already? That I do. Doesn't matter. H2. Okay. If you're feeling, uh, don't. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's normal to feel this way. It's this way. Finally, don't make threats or promises that you can't keep when you're angry. It's super important. And then I'm just going to hit the compose button right here. Let Jasper take it away to follow through on your threats. Uh, other way they don't even seriously, but do it with love and respect at all times. Speaking of which, I can't type because my fingers are freezing cold because it's really cold in this basement. Use positive reinforcement. It kind of went ahead without me. Let's uh, do this. And I want to do the one I've been digging right here. Subtopics for this. Let's copy that. Put it right there and we'll do that. And then we'll do the paragraph generator. Almost done with my 10 minutes. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. It's okay. What am I doing? Come on, Alt Tab, you're failing me. There we go. How to use benefits examples. That's a good one right there. Let's do that. Use a positive enforcement for kids with ADHD. Give more context here. Generate AI output. All right. It's gonna come up with here. And I'm gonna put that right here. This means rewarding good behavior. There are several different ways to use this. Um, write a bullet point list for um, ADHD positive reinforcement examples. I'm just gonna see what happens right here. Probably don't need to do this, but I am just really curious. Give immediate rewards. Um, yeah, make specific. Make it specific and meaningful. That was a good one. Use it for you consistently. Okay, I don't need the rest of this. Okay, that's not bad. So let's move on down to the FAQs. Uh, just kind of already did all these. There we go, FAQs. Write your own FAQ headline. So I'm gonna do um, ADHD parenting FAQ. And I will make that an H2. I already wrote my own FAQ thing. And then I'll do write a list of facts for this blog post. And I'm at like 700 and I'm not like 800 words. What is ADHD? Do I really need to do that one? I don't know, let's just try it. I'm just gonna hit compose here. What is ADHD? That is not right. Um, let's hit compose again. Ugh, it's frustrating. All right, 
How about ADHD stands for, and then I'm just going to hit this right here. Oh, I understand why this was not working so well. It's because I had this in an H3 tag. It was like writing headlines. <laughs> Let's try this again. Oh, okay. This is always fun. Write a list of FAQs for this post. It was, okay, stop. You are not in H3. There we go. Let's try this one more time. Uh, now I'm definitely not going to hit my 10 minute mark. Oh, I'm already there. What is it? Oh, frustrating. <laughs> right? H3. And then I'll go down that. All right. ADHD stands for, and then I'll just hit the Jasper Compose button, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Meeting with A. I'll just let this continue right here. Mental health professional. What causes ADHD? That's a good one. Put that there. And let's try this again. Let's just hit compose here. So I'm at my 10 minute mark. I know I didn't quite hit it, uh, but we'll come up here. How is ADHD treated? What's the treatment? What are some tips? There we go. What are some tips for parenting a child with ADHD? If you're a parent, parent, comma, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, I like that. Can positive reinforcement help? H3, let's do that one and do another thing down there. Yes, positive enforcement, yada, yada, yada. So I'm over a thousand words ish. Actually, I have, I have to like delete that outline or whatnot, all this stuff at the bottom. I'll probably be around 900, et cetera, words. Yep, right at um, 900 words. So at this point, I would probably go through, oh, I gotta write my outro. Oh, I forgot. Let's do that. I forgot, really quick. I'm over my mark now, but it's okay. Uh, conclusion, ADHD is tough with kids, but there are tools to help you. And then I will do an H2, and then I will do write a blog post um, conclusion for this post. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, whatever. It can be tough, but blah, 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 blah. There we go. I hope you get a lot out of these tips and good luck. Actually, why am I typing? Just hit compose. Good luck with your parenting or something like that. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. All right. Cool. So at this point, I would generally open surfer. Dot, not surfer.seo, just surfer SEO and see what this, this needs to like refresh, I believe. Refresh that and see what, uh, what else I would need to add. So this is like a thousand words. 38, it's not terrible. looks like I need some more words, but I might come in here and do uh, like teaching, create a routine. Okay, how about this? Like pro tip, um, communicate with your child's teacher. All right, I'm gonna make that an H3 and then go down here. If your child is of school age, comma, and then I'll just let Jasper take it away with like a little bit more content. Be sure to talk to the teacher about your child's condition and what type of routines work best for them. Oh, I like that. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so positive behavior, child refuses. We could do all sorts of stuff right here. Um, how about like, even if your child refuses to accept your, I don't know, punishment or whatever, punishment, still don't get angry. And I would, I would just keep going. So this example took a little bit longer than 10 minutes, but I think you'll admit that is pretty cool. So go check out my other videos on Jasper. I will link to them in the description below. And of course, if you want to try Jasper for free, you can use my affiliate link that's also below to get 10,000 words, no questions asked. All right, happy Jaspering and blogging. And we'll see you in the next video. Adios.